Catholic readings for the 26th of August, 2018. Readings for the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time Year B. First reading. Readings from the books of Joshua. Chapter 24, verses 1 to 2, 15 to 17, and 18. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all people. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve. The gods your father served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose country you are now dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods. For it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey and among the peoples through whom we passed. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for He is our God. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 34, verses 2 to 3, 16 to 17, 18 to 19, and 20 to 21. Response Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and the lowly will hear me and be glad. Response Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord has eyes for the just, and ears for their cries. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. Response, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Response, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Many are the troubles of the just one, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Response, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Second reading, reading from the letters to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 21 to 32. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church, he himself the savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over to her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes 
and cherishes it, even as Christ does the Church, because we are members of His body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the Church. This is the word of the Lord. Gospel Reading from the Gospel of John Chapter 6, verses 60 to 69 Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. This is the word of the Lord. The end. God bless you all, and if you enjoyed these readings, we will be uploading them weekly to our channel. So subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified. Thanks for listening.